what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel as you can see by the title below this is going to be a pick a card on what do they tell their friends um about you <laughs> so yeah it's gonna be a quick read and on um just what do the person on your mind tell um their friends okay there's i got three different decks so there'll be three different piles for this reading i have the um celestial tarot card deck i have the classic design tarot and then I have the Modern Love Tarot. It comes in a box. <laughs> so I think I'm going to use the Celestial Tarot cards first. This was actually just gifted to me by a coworker. So I said, let's use it. And actually, the cards look a little bit different than what I'm used to. But um, I've been practicing. So let's just give it a go. So this is the Celestial Tarot card deck. I actually really like it. I'm not even going to lie. Um, I'm going to use this for Pile 1. The Celestial Tarot card deck will be used for Pile 1 if you're drawn to this one. I'm used to classic design for pile two. And then I'm ended with the modern love tarot deck. Okay. So whichever pile you're um whichever deck you're drawn to will be the pile for you, okay? And I also have affirmation cards um as well that I'll read at the end of each pile. It's pretty uplifting. So I was like, why not use these to kind of, you know, end the reading um on a positive, <laughs> on a more positive note. But yeah, y'all. So that is it. So if you want to stick around and see what they're telling your friends, just Hang on, we about to get right into it, okay? I hope you enjoy the video, and yeah, let's get right into it. All right, Pile 1, so if you chose the Celestial Terror card uh, <laughs> deck, this is your reading, okay? I'm sorry, I get nervous. I don't know why I'm so nervous today, but um, yeah, the Celestial Terror card deck for Pile 1, all right? This is your reading. We're just going to see, what do they tell your friends? Well, their friends, okay, or your friends, but yeah, we're just going to see, what do they tell their friends about you, okay? For Pile 1. <laughs> What do they tell your friends? I don't know why I keep saying your friends. Y'all could have same like the same group of friends. But yeah, we're going to focus on what do they tell their friends about you, okay? <clears throat> For power one, what do they tell <laughs> their friends? For power one, what do they tell their friends? All right. <laughs> For power one, what do they tell their friends? For power one. Okay, you got the Ten of Cups coming right out. <laughs> what do they tell their friends about my Pile Ones? You have the Four of Swords coming out. What do they tell their friends about Pile One? You got Judgment, the Ten of so the Ten of Wands. I'm sorry, with the Three of Pentacles. So right off the bat, they can tell their friends that they made like some type of decision. Um, about who they want to be with. Yeah, wow. As I split it open, it's the Tower and the Eight of Cups. Who they like want to be with, who they want to spend time with. It could have been a third-party situation. I don't know. They're, they, they're telling their friends, yeah, <laughs> with the Seven of Swords coming out. Definitely could have been a third party or not necessarily a third party, but somebody could have had options when it came to love. Like you and this person could have just been dating and this person is coming to some type of conclusion with who they want to be with. Yeah, with the Knight of Swords. And they could want to communicate this. For pile, I'm gonna take those two. But you got the hierophant coming out, along with the death and the four of wands. Yeah, this person could have even ended a different situation, a different uh relationship as well. You got Scorpio out here, Taurus. Yeah, with the eight of pentacles. They definitely want to work on some type of situation with you. They're telling the friends they want to work with you. Wow, yeah, with the Six of Wands coming out. The Tower with the Nine of Wands. And then the Empress. They can feel like there's some sort of shock factor with you as well. They can honestly be sh shocked that they're attracted to you. Yeah, with the strength in the moon as I split it open. I don't know. It's something about them being shocked that... They're almost like interested, not saying like something's wrong with you, but the two of you could be different or this person could feel as though you are. Yeah, with the uh, four of pentacles. Morally, the two of you could be, I don't know, it's something about the two. This person is like shocked. This person is even like shocked with like how much this person, you hold a lot of power over this person. Could be emotionally, especially with that ten of cups coming out. Like this person feels like you have a lot of the power, whether they say it or not. Yeah, with the Six of Pentacles, like you hold, like, yeah, it's almost like this person feels like it's up to you. you you're, wow, this person's weakened by you almost as well. 
what do they tell their friends? They look at you as the empress, though. They look at you as somebody they want to be with, built with, with the Knight of Pentacles. They look at, and they might even want to, um, wow, so there's two knights. Yeah, some action cards. They might even want to come in a little slowly. What do they tell their friends about Pawan? Wow, the Ten of Pentacles. This person really tells their friends that they see, like, growth with you. They see themselves growing with you. Wow, the Knight of Wands, yeah, and they're very passionate towards you, and they're very passionate about making this work. This person really wants to make it work. There's a lot of Knight energy, yeah, with the Page of Wands and the Five of Wands, and they're willing to, like, fight for that. I don't know. They're almost, like, saying, like, I'm not going to take no for, like, an answer when it comes to this person. I don't know. Take take that how, yeah, with the Two of Pentacles. It's almost like they're trying to figure out a way to really come in and how they're going to come in to speak to you. The Two of you could have been in a relationship as well. <laughs> with the ace of swords coming out with the chariot and the emperor uh... yeah this person is really yeah with the king of swords coming out with the ace of cups yeah this person is like ready to like speak their this person yeah with the star and the nine of pentacles you got aries virgo energy out here cancer you got Libra and Capricorn and Taurus. The two of you can actually be together right now. Like the two, yeah, with the star coming out. This person really wants a relationship with you. Yeah, with the nine of cups, with the hangman and the queen of cups. Like this person actually loves you. I don't know. It's something about it being on pause. It's a reason with the temperance. This person could be healing from something. Or this person could want to heal it with you. They, they talk about, yeah, with the eight. I'm sorry. With the um, whew, seven of pentacles, uh, cups. Excuse me. I'm sorry. What do they tell their friends about you? Yeah, with the king of wands. And the five of pentacles with the sun could be a leo this person definitely could have had to walk away from a different situation they had to let somebody go this could be what they're telling their friends but they see themselves this person sees themselves being with you that's what they tell their friends this person has a lot of love for you as well Pawan. this person has a lot of love for you like a lot this person feels Yeah, with the two, the two of wands and the lovers, it's almost like they're they're waiting. They're planning something. You could not even be hearing from this person. I didn't even get any cards that's saying that you're not in communication with this person. But I feel like this person's like, this is what they're planning to do. Like, they're talking to their friend. They're basically asking for, like, they're hoping their friends encourages them. Like, I'm getting a sense of, yeah, with the strength coming out. Like, this person's trying to stay strong. You could definitely intimidate this person. This person's definitely intimidated, yeah, with the Queen of Pentacles. Just by, I'm hearing Independent Woman by Destiny's Child. This person is like, whether you're a man or a woman, this person's intimidated. Like, like I don't know. And they could be, they could be fine. Like, this person could be, yeah, with the Four of Cups. Like, this person, I don't know. It's something with rejection with them, worrying about if they're enough. I don't know. What do they tell their friends about my power ones? Yeah, with the magician. They keep falling on the floor. I don't know why. <laughs> with the magician, the king of pentacles, the six of swords with the ten of swords. This person could, especially, I'm so sorry, y'all. <laughs> with the queen of wands, yeah. This person, especially if this person was like, you know, the seven of wands at the bottom, especially if this person was like stingy or almost selfish. It's like if this is a past person, even if it's not a past person, if this is like a recent, uh, like a newer person, this person is saying like they got to let go of like they're telling their friends they got to let go of like some type of manipulative way. Like they got to move out of some type of sneaky, selfish type of energy because ultimately it's going to end things. And I'm also seeing because the queen of wands could be a karmic card. This person definitely ended some type of third part. They're cutting, they're letting somebody else go. Like they're telling their friends, I have to let this Queen of Wands energy go. I have to move like away from this person. 
and they could be even moving away from this person like a very like sneaky or like just not the most righteous type of way but they're making actions to move away from somebody because they do ultimately feel like you you got the empress and the emperor out here like they see you as an empress or an emperor I'm hoping this is making sense. Yeah, with the sun, it's like this person was shown like what they have to do. This person is maturing and they're telling their friends that like they have to change. Like this person's telling their friends like they got to change. Something has to change. Something like they can't stay the same. Yeah, with the seven of wands and the hermit. Especially this person, again, is like isolating themselves from you as well. What are they telling their friend? Yeah, with the five of swords. It could be coming off as like sneaky or deceptive, but in reality, it's like this person is actually handling things, yeah, with the eight of wands. And they're trying to do it in a in a way where it's like fast. So they feel like, I don't know, this feel, this person feel like they might miss out on an opportunity, though. I'm not even gonna lie. Like that's the vibe. It's almost getting like I can almost not hear what this person is like saying, but I can Ah. I'm so sorry. This energy is so over the place. It got me like. Yeah, with the high prices at the bottom. <laughs> it's like this energy is so... Like, this person is frantic. Like, they don't even... They, this person is trying to rush. Whatever they're doing, they're trying to rush with the Page of Swords. They're really trying to handle whatever this is. Yeah, with the Queen of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. They're really trying to let somebody down easy. Yeah, with the Two of Cups wanting to come out. What do they tell their friends for Power One? What do they tell their friends? Yeah, with the moon and the two of swords, yeah. That they, are, for some reason, are low and decisive. Yeah, with the three of swords, they cannot want to hurt somebody. I don't know, y'all. Yeah. With the seven of pentacles, because they have to really, like, try to... Yeah, with the ace of pentacles, wow, and the knight of cups. This person, for some reason, doesn't know if you'll accept them. This person is really worried that they'll take too long, yeah with the six of cups this person is really worried about and they think about fine memories they t mm, yeah with the page of cups this person could tell mm, yeah with the five of cups how like sad they are as well it some for some reason they can't express them especially if this person isn't expressive emotionally it's like they tell their friends they feel bad about it they feel sad that they almost like they never told you how they felt yeah with the three of cups and the Eight of Cups. And the High Priestess. They keep a lot of emotion hidden from you. They express a lot, yeah, with the Three of Wands. The Queen of Pentacles. Oh, that was it. Yeah, the Three of Wands with the Queen of Pentacles. This person's very nervous that they're taking too long to, like, come back to you. Yeah, with the Nine of Swords. They're worried that they're going to take too long about something. Like, they're expressing to their friends that they're worried that something's going to take too long. That you're not going to wait. Yeah, with the Ace of Cups. I mean, the Ace of Wands. Like, you're not going to want to start something back up with them. With the Five of Cups still at the bottom. Like, this person's expressing. This person's worried about not being able to express something. Mm, 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 power one. like this person's everywhere like this person's handling a lot like and they could run their mouth to their friends i don't know i'm getting like a chatterbox type of energy like this person really confides in their friends i don't know power one i really hope the messages <laughs> resonates or helps um but that was your read and okay definitely like comment subscribe if you feel you know if the messages resonate with you um i'd really appreciate all the love and support like always um, and yeah, oh, y'all affirmation cards. Almost forgot your affirmations. I'm gonna get an affirmation with y'all. They look like this, though. <laughs> so, for my pile ones, they're so little. My pile ones, can I get an affirmation for my pile ones? One came out to y'all. It says, Today, I will not compare. Today, I will not compare myself to others. I will find true peace in my own life, okay? That's the affirmation for today, y'all. Uh, and then at the bottom, it says, Today, I am ready to receive love, okay? Today, I am open to being loved by another healthy person. All right, Pauline. 
that was your affirmation card i hope the messages are useful to you and they resonate in any way shape or form they were supposed to for you and until then i will see y'all in another video all right so for my pile twos if y'all chose the classic design tarot deck this is your reading okay we're just going to see what do they tell their friends about you all right so for my pile twos <laughs> what do they tell their friends about my pile twos pile ones was interesting the person definitely i feel like talks a lot <laughs> so for pile two let's just see what comes out for my pile twos what do they tell their friends if anything, about my pile twos. What do they tell their friends about my pile twos? What do they tell their friends about my top? That was too many. About my pile twos. What do they tell their friends oh, about my pile twos? So you got the fool coming out. You got the knight of wands coming out. What do they tell their friends? You got the chariot. You got the eight of pentacles. Okay. What do they tell their friends about my pile twos? What do they tell their friends about my pile twos? You got the world with the king of cups. So right off the bat, they're telling their friends that they want to take some type of leap of faith towards you, come towards you, work on things with you. They don't want something to end as well. This person thinks very highly of you. They, You could have walked away from this person. Of course, takes whatever resonates. This could definitely be some type of water sign. You got a heavy cancer. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, with the Nine of Cups. This person sees you as some type of, like, fulfillment. They're very passionate about you. They tell your friends how passionate... Mm. the seven of cups the lovers and the six of wands yeah it's like this person this person has a lot of this person has love for you with this king i can yeah with the queen of swords this person has love for you you got libra energy out here leo gemini they see success with you as well this this could be exactly what they're telling their friends what's this knight of wands let me see something the judgment and it did come out in reverse so that could be, you know, with the Eight of Cups in reverse at the bottom as well. I'm not going to take it in reverse, but definitely use that as a warning, especially if this is somebody coming back. I always will do that because this could be a new energy as well. But I definitely wanted to see the Knight of Wands just to see. Because that could be some type of warning as well. Like, make sure this person isn't just coming in for like passion if you get it you get it but yeah make sure this person isn't coming in for like passion yeah with the queen of wands because they could be telling their friends they're definitely very they're very attracted to you they could definitely be telling their friends they're very attracted to you you stimulate them they love like your intimacy and this person mm. you got sagittarius energy out here Where are they telling their friends? Whoa. You got the Ten of Wands, the High Priestess, and the Hierophant. <laughs> they could be telling their friends that they feel like you know everything. They, they could be telling their friends that you could be a little stubborn because they feel like you know everything. This person views you as somebody who's very spiritual. They could be telling their friends that, yeah, with the Hermit, like you know a lot more than what you what you what you let on, like what you say. You you keep yourself very hidden. They, uh, mm. they also could feel like they, they find it very hard to connect with you. Yeah, with the King of Swords coming out. Hmm. Yeah, and the Sun. You got Libra, Taurus, Pisces, Leo, with the Knight of Swords. And the Three of Swords in reverse at the bottom. I 
because I'm seeing a lot of different scenarios. So another scenario I'm about to say as well, because you could be actually with somebody. This person could have two people. Because I see a relationship, but I also seeing somebody like having options as well. Just make sure this person, because uh, this person could have another person. This person could be in a relationship, whether it's with you or another person. And it's hidden with this high priestess. And it's a pretty stressful one with the Ten of Wands. And it could just be a um, sexual connection between them and another person. This could be what they're telling their friends. Whereas though with who's ever in this relationship or with you, rather, they feel like the two of you match each other, especially with the King and Queen of Swords. Not only are the two of you like compatible physically, but you are like mentally, like you stimulate this person. That could be what they're telling their friends. And they could not want to hurt you with the Three of Swords in reverse at the bottom. Yeah, with the Emperor. They could say they want to take charge of the situation. Yeah, with the Tower. Like, they don't want something to blow up. At least they don't with you. Like, this person does not... Yeah, with the Nine of Wands. This person does not want no issues with you. And this could be what they're telling their friends. This person wants, like, the power. This person almost doesn't want you to see them as an equal. Yeah, with the Star at the bottom in the Seven of Wands. Like, this person doesn't want... This could be... they. This person wants control. This could be what they're telling their friends. This person does want control. And be aware that this person could try to control you with sex or intimacy. Two of Cups. I'm going to just tell y'all what I see. <clears throat> yeah, and the Magician. This person is definitely, like, manifesting you. They're manifesting some type of, like, communication. Some type of getting back together. Reconciling. Yeah, with the Devil in Reverse and the Queen of Cups is out open. It. It's like this person doesn't want it. They're telling their friends they don't want to bring no toxicity to you. Yeah, they don't want to. With the Page of Wands. They are really manifesting you right now. Hold on, yeah. All right, y'all, my fault. Um, a little interruption, but basically what I was saying was I almost kind of forgot, but basically with the tower at the bottom, it's like this person is telling their friends they don't want to bring no issues to you. Um, This person really does not. They want control, but it's not in a way where it's like this person wants to control you. They just want to, like, be somebody you look up to. Yeah, with Ace of Pentacles, they want to be somebody, like, you come to. For just general help. Like, could even be fine. This person just wants you to depend on them. Like, they want to take more of a, a, a major role in your life. Is what they're telling their friends. With the temperance. Like, they just want to be somebody you really could depend on. This could be your baby's father. Yeah, with the Page of Swords. Like, this person definitely watches you. You could work in some type of healing field. You could be a nurse. A um, CNA of some sort. Like, I don't know. It's something about nursing or something about a healing field. You could be in some type of healing field. This person likes that. Yeah, with the Eight of Swords. Like, this person does not want to bring no issues to you. With the Five of Cups and the Two of Wands. And they could almost tell their friends, like, they're, they are afraid. Yeah, with the Nine of Pentacles coming out. The Six of Pentacles. With the Page of Pentacles. And then you got the King of Pentacles. <laughs> this person really wants to give to you. And fast with the Eight of Wands at the bottom. But with the Nine of Pentacles, this person could also be a little worried that you're not stuck in your ways. But they could view you as somebody who's very, very independent. You know, with the Queen of Cups. Like, they're viewing you as somebody who's very loving, very sensitive. Somebody who's very much independent. And they almost, they're telling their friends they want to add to you. Like, they want to add to you. Especially financially. Like, this person wants to take care of you. Yeah, with the Knight of Cups and the Devil coming out. This person's really infatuated with you. I'm not even getting... This person's, like, almost, like... They, they could be a little obsessed. Yeah, with the Star... This person could honestly be a little obsessed. They definitely want your attention. This person, like, really craves your attention. I don't know. I'm hearing love. Like, this person loves you. Loves your attention. This person really feeds off your attention. Wow. <laughs> With the Nine of Swords, the Ace of Cups, the Five of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, but the Three of Swords. You cannot be giving a per this person attention right now either. You have the King of Wands in reverse. 
this person hates this person tells their friends like they hate when the two of you aren't getting along they hate when the two of you are like hurt this person hates when the two of you are not speaking the two of you are not in communication when you walked away especially if there's somebody from the past or somebody you're just dealing whoever this is they tell their friends that they hate 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 like they love your energy so much to a point where they hate when they cannot have it i don't know because that could be a good or a bad thing depending on your situation but because I'm not really getting anything toxic from it, but this person really, like, they tell their friends, they, especially your energy, this person loves your your vibe. And they hate when the two of you are not speaking or when they feel like you're, you're holding that back from <laughs> with the strength. Like, they hate when you hold back from them. They hate that. They hate it. And hate is a strong word. Yeah, with the two of swords, with the two of pentacles, it's almost like this person, they start to not know what to do with themselves. Like, they start to... They go nuts you know, with the six of cups. They love your energy. You know, the ten of swords at the bottom in reverse. Like they love pile two. They love your energy. And they definitely tell their friends that. So pile two, that was your reading, okay? Um, I hope it resonated and you got some messages um that could be useful for you out of this, out of this uh this video and out of this reading. I'm gonna pull some affirmation cards for y'all to kind of end it on a better note, a positive note. Again, I hope that the message is, you know, resonating, y'all. You got something out of that, okay? The energy is everywhere tonight with this reading. <laughs> like, I don't even know what to do with my little self. But I'm going to get you an affirmation card, okay, Pau 2? All right. One affirmation card for my Pau 2s, please. Affirmation card for my Pau 2s. Oh, flew out. So you have today I am happy. Today happiness and love will find my heart and soul all day. Power two. <laughs> that is your affirmation card. And at the bottom, today I am accepting. Today I will be open. Wait, today I will open my heart and listen with an open mind to new ideas and opportunities. Power two at the bottom, okay? So those were your affirmation cards. Again, I hope that you found this video useful. And if you did, definitely like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate all the love and support. And until next time, bye. All right, pile three. So if you chose the Modern Love Tarot, looks like this. And this nice little big old red box. <laughs> um, This is your reading. All right, we're just going to see what do they tell your friends, okay? So I really do hope you enjoyed the reading. Hope your day is going well, pile three. And yeah, let's get right into it to see what do they tell their friends about you, okay? All my cards in this reading are like all different sizes. Like these cards are huge compared to my other ones. I don't even know how I'm gonna shuffle them really. <laughs> what is, what are they telling their friends for my pile threes? What are they telling their friends for my pile threes? Where they come their friends from my power threes? Where they come their friends from my power threes? You got the ace of cups coming out. Where they come their friends from my power threes? <clears throat> got the four wands. The page of cups. With the empress. Where are they telling their friends about my power threes? You have the seven of wands and the three of swords. They could be telling their friends the two of you are going through something right now. It doesn't have to be nothing crazy, but they're definitely telling their friends they're, you, the two of you could be going through like some hardships right now. Some small hardships. I'm not seeing anything like crazy big, but I, yeah. But it's definitely some type of hardships the two of you are going through. This person, you could be the mother of this person's child and or father as well. The two of you could actually be in a, a solidified relationship as well. Yeah, they're just telling their friends that basically things aren't perfect. I'm not saying nothing major so far. Yeah, with the Queen of Pentacles, this person still thinks like highly of you. With the page of wands, wow, with the death. You got Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn energy out here. Scorpio. With 
the star, the knight of swords, and the five of wands. What's the death card? Where are they telling their friends? What's the death card? You had a two of swords with the knight of pentacles. And then the star. The six of wands. Sorry, y'all gotta get some more to really. You got Aquarius energy out here as well. Yeah, with the hangman. And then the five of wands. You get a chariot. You got the strength. You got the tower. And you got the six of cups. Could be a Leo, a Pisces, Scorpio, or an Aquarius. This person's telling their friends they're trying to, yeah, with the two of pentacles, stay strong in a situation. The two of you could have argued. The two of you could have broken up or just stopped talking. This person's telling their friends they're they're finding it a little, a little hard to like move on from you because this person is seeing you somebody that they still want to be with it's just whatever the two of you are going through or have gone through it's almost like this person is what are they telling their friends for pile three what are they telling their friends yeah with the king of cups This person's nervous, yeah, with the Ten of Wands. This person's a little, like, stressed that things are, like, coming to a close. Wow, with the world. Like, this person's telling their friends that they're they're a little, almost, like, shocked. Like, they're, I'm getting, like, a nervous. This person's, like, really nervous. Especially emotionally. Especially if this is somebody you detached from. Emo this person's nervous is really, like, over. They like your body, though. <laughs> I don't know. Like, you got Cancer Pisces Scorpio out here. Yeah, with the Six of Pentacles. Like, this person's, they want an equal give and take with you. I don't know. It's something about them being nervous that something's over. Yeah, with the Seven of Pentacles, that's like somebody doesn't want to work on anything anymore. Like, this person's really nervous that something's over. Something's, like, on hold. This person feels like you're not, especially, like, emotionally, this person feels like you're not emotionally invested in them. Like, something's on pause. And this person is definitely trying to stay strong. Or they're telling their friends that you are. That the two of you are trying to be strong in this situation. Yeah, with the Seven of Cups and the Ace of Wands. This person could even be telling their friends that you're out dating or doing things or they're, they're telling their friends that that's what they're going to... What's this Ace of Wands with the Seven of Cups? This reading is different. It pulls in a lot of different type of energy. What's the Ace of Wands with the Seven of Cups? What are they telling their friends? What are they telling their friends from my pile of three? What's the Ace of Wands with the Seven of Cups? Yeah, the King of Wands. Could be a fire sign. I mean, I'm sorry, the King of Swords. Wow. Could be an air sign. A Libra. It's like they could be telling their friends that they're just, they're going to indulge in like options or whatever. Yeah, with the Eight of Swords, the Nine of Wands, with the Will of Fortune. This person thinks you're doing it. This person thinks you're like moving on. They could be, yeah, wow, with the world now in reverse at the bottom. With the temperance. This person is telling their friends they think, this person is definitely telling their friends they think you emotionally withdrawn from them. Yeah, with the Two of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. Like, they think you're out there. They're telling their friends they think you're out. 
this person is definitely telling their friends they think you're like over them. <laughs> now it's up right. Like Wow. What are they telling their friends for power three? What are they telling their friends for power three? This person's definitely telling their friends that you're dating. Yeah, with the five of cups. <laughs> this person's telling their friends that they think the two of you have really done this time. Yeah, with the hermit. They could be, wow, I grabbed two by accident. It's the five of pentacles at the bottom. Especially if this person like ghosted or grew distant from you. Could be a Virgo or a Taurus. Yeah, with the Justice, the Two of Wands, and the Nine of Cups. They're telling their friends they feel like that's like the best thing. Possibly for y'all to end up doing. Yeah, with the Three of Wands. Like this person's. This person is really like in in the type of energy where they're like they're coming to the conclusion where the two of you are done and they're really expressing it to their friends. How yeah, with the six of swords, like wow. And you got the devil card that fell on the floor. You got Capricorn energy out here. <clears throat> yeah, with the three of cups, the judgment. The Page of Pentacles, wow, with the Fool. And the Five of Swords at the bottom. This person could also, not even telling their friends, this person could also be like asking their friends if it would be a good idea to like reconcile with you or extend some type of small offer. Yeah, with the Hierophant. Like, this person is really trying to seek out, like, some type of guidance. Like, they're really, yeah, on, with the Ten of Swords. On whether they should end it or, like, extend a hand to, like, reconcile or not. Like, the, you got Taurus energy out here. Yeah, with the Queen of Wands. They find you to be very attractive. Very sporty. You can have a thigh tattoo. They watch you. They keep tabs, though, with this Page of Swords. You could be very strong. You could work out a lot too. Especially if you're a female, you could go to the gym if you're a female. I mean, if you're a male too, but I'm definitely getting like female, like sp specifically, like especially if you go to the gym. They think you're very fit. But yeah, with the Knight of Cups, it's like they're asking their friends if that would be a foolish decision if they came and like reconcile with you. Especially because this person thinks that you 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 are moving on, like you're you're dating, you're you're out there again, like they're expressing to their friends how much they they get yeah, with the ten of pentacles that they want to be with you, they want to start something with you, but they think that you're emotionally like detached. You know, the king of wands could be a fire sign, <laughs> could be a, a fire, a sag, or Aries with the emperor at the bottom. Yeah, with the Six of Swords coming out and the Nine of Pentacles, this person thinks that you are just, they're telling their friends that you're moving on, that you're single. Yeah, with the Emperor, you came into like some sort of power. Like this person feels like you let go, you detached from them. Yeah, with the Magician, like you're manifesting. This person could also be telling their friends they're hoping that you'll come back to them. Wow, Emperor coming out. They're hoping you'll come back to them. This person could also be telling their friends that they've changed. Like, they've changed. You have the Ten of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Wow. This person loves your smart mouth or attitude. They could be telling their friends that they love when you, like, yeah, Three of Pentacles. They love when the two of you, like, I don't know. They just love your attitude. They love when you get snippy with them. <laughs> you know, the Ace of Pentacles. This person really wants to work with you, though. This person is definitely telling their like their friends that they really want to, with the Ace of Swords, wow, and the Sun coming out. Could be a Leo. This person's 
person could even want to have a child. You could have a son with this person. Could like the color yellow. There's something about the color yellow. You could have a heart tattoo or a heart necklace. Something about a heart. Last few cards. Where are they telling their friends? They definitely want to work on something with you, though. This Ace of Pentacles is, like, screaming at me. Like, they really want to work on things with you, though. Whoa. All right, y'all. I'm in the there because the cards just keep falling. Up. The Temperance is on my lap. Every other card flew out. <laughs> but the Temperance is on here. They really want to heal something with you. That is definitely what they tell their friends. That they just want to work on something with you. They definitely tell their friends that they think that you're dating, though. Think you're dating. They think you're back out there. They really think that you detach from them emotionally. And they feel like that's kind of where... Like, that's where the major disconnect is. They feel like you're not... They just feel like you're emotionally, you're just not invested in them. And it's almost like that's, like, the hardest blow for them. Like, they're really expressing that part. Like, the biggest blow... What really hurts them the most is to feel like you don't feel what you once did for them. I hope that made sense, Power 3. Like, that's something that's really being highlighted. Yeah, with the Eight of Cups. Like, you emotionally, you've, you, 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 you're you gone emotionally. Like, emotionally, like, you're, you're not, you're gone. Yeah. Yeah. So, Power 3. I'm going to get your affirmation cards. I hope that that resonated for you in any way, shape, or form it was supposed to. Um, I hope you could find the messages useful as well. I'm going to get y'all some affirmation cards before I go with y'all reading. <clears throat> I had a whole bunch of cards to pick up off the floor. <laughs> but I'm going to get y'all some affirmation cards, all right? So for my pile three... Can I get an affirmation card for my pile of threes? You have, today I make a difference. Today I will stay focused, worked hard, and do my very best at everything I do, pile of three, okay? And at the bottom you have, today I am grateful. Today my heart is filled with joy. I see the positive in everything today, all right? So that was your two um, affirmation cards, pile of three. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I, again, I hope it resonated in any way, shape, or form it was supposed to for you. And until next time, y'all, bye.